Hello, welcome again to this channel. Today we will look at Swahili verb, verb to have. You are all welcome. Karibu sana. Swahili is an agglutinative language and for that reason a verb can be a sentence on its own because it may contain all the grammatical elements of a Swahili sentence. Furthermore, Swahili is spoken the way it is written and written the way it is spoken. Swahili verb to have. The verb to have in Swahili is manifested by inserting the suffix na to subject prefixes. Examples of Swahili verb to have in affirmative singular and affirmative plural. plural. Nina means I have. Tuna is we have. Una, you have. Mna, you have. You have can be plural. Anna, he or she has. Wana, they have. Negative singular and negative plural of the verb to have. We have words like sina, meaning I don't have. And the negative part of it is hatuna, we don't have. We also have una, you don't have. Hamna, you don't have. Huna is for singular and hamna is plural. Hana, he or she does not have. Hawana, they don't have. Nina watoto. These are examples of sentences of the verb to have. Nina watoto, I have children. Unagari, do you have a car? Anatatizo, she has a problem. Unamwa. Do you have a dog? Mbwa is dog. Sina hela leo. I don't have money today. So watoto is children. Gari is a car. Tatizo means problem in English. Mbwa is a dog. Hela is money. Thank you for watching. Please don't miss other video in this channel that talks about Swahili words with more than one meaning. There is part one and part two. Thank you.